Oh, this is from a pensioner in Taunton. And this bloke wants a signed photo of me in a bikini or less. Oh, there are some sick people in this world. I know. Most of them read my paper. Mm. <laughs> hey, come on, have a busy day. A developing mutually beneficial relationships. Who with? With you. We should get some good shots. Black is very sexy. I should have you as a trustee on that disaster fund. You could be the figurehead. More publicity. <laughs> what good would that do me? Celebrity status. It would be useful for the opening of that health club you mentioned. I've got to get Seth sorted, too. What about us? Oh, fine. Go on, go make yourself even more beautiful, if that's possible. Black suits you. Hi, all right. Hi. Hi, champion. Anyway, we won't get anything out of that acreage for a good while. God knows what's happening to the livestock. Sheep are boarding all over the place. I know it's the same for most others around here, but... Yeah, well, insurance company won't argue. They won't risk bad publicity. Yeah, well, they better be quick about it. We're low on cash. Especially with that toxic pit still to be cleaned up. Well, I'm sure the bank will be very sympathetic. Yeah, well, might as well give them a try. <laughs> Pity it takes a funeral to get you two looking so smart. Yeah, I feel like a tailor's dummy. About as much use, both of you. Oh, thanks a bunch. Cheers, Sarah. Hey, Moss. Now then, Joe, how's the leg? On the men, thanks. Sarah, I'm going into hot on this. Uh... Rachel, I was just to say that Jack looks like a tailor's dummy, don't you think? Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll see you at the church. Okay. Uh, Rachel, can I have a word? Yeah, you can have two. Get lost! Rachel! You were only trying he to... He killed my brother, Amos, or as good as. He knows it, and so do I. Rachel, you must Amos, have... I'm sorry. Look, I know it's hard, but there's a lot of folk grieving down there. Don't turn in on yourself, lass. Have you seen me black tie? Sideboard drawer. That come in here. Search me. Could be because you left it there. Kelly, Donna, get down here now. Oh, sorry. You've seen me in a lot less than this. No, that particular one. Well, at least I'm getting a new wardrobe out of all this. Do you like it? I like what's in it. Are you all right? I'll be glad when all this is over. I think everybody feels the same way. And when it is over, what then? What's going to happen to all the money that's going to come flooding in, for example? Oh, you and the other trustees will have to decide that. How can you decide the financial difference between someone being off work for three weeks or losing a finger? There'll be others on the committee. MPs, JPs, councillors. You won't be on your own. Will you help me with this, please? It's all so arbitrary, isn't it, the whole thing? I mean, life, death, a couple of hundred people are wiped out at a stroke. 
Yet it's the one small baby from Eastern Europe who probably knew the least about it. Time to go. I'd like to stop on the way. Yes, of course. You found a camera. The police call it looting. I nearly killed two blokes for doing that. Okay, okay. Then you went round taking stupid photographs of yourselves. Your dad's right, you know. I didn't take it off a body, I found it in a field. We were that close to being victims ourselves, and now you're going to do something stupid like this. Supposing some of your friends have been killed, how would you like someone stealing from them? Ooh, I could strangle the pair of you. And we probably will, after you take this camera back to the police. Now listen to me. You found it today, ten minutes ago, all right? It didn't mean no harm, Mum. After you've handed it into the police, you get straight back here, okay? Go on. So what do we do with these? Well, we go to the police. I want to know we got them. Well, it might help to identify someone. Right, well, I'll think of something. Where's Scott? Oh, I don't know. Now, I've got to go and look after Kelly and Donna during the funeral. You be a good boy and stay here, Samson. Good boy. Stay there, Samson. Stay there. Good boy, stay there. You shouldn't be bringing her. I couldn't get a babysitter. You're not thinking about Alice. You're putting on a public show. Hey, that's a bit insensitive. Elizabeth is... was Elsa's mother as well as yours. Why shouldn't she go? Alice is too young to go through all this, OK? That's my decision. I'm a mother, and her father's still in hospital, isn't he? So, where are you going to live then, Uncle Eric? What? Well, we won't be staying in this place much longer. It goes with a job. And so do we when Frank Tate appoints a new secretary. How you can even think about it, let alone talk about it? Your mother hasn't even been buried yet. Oh, you're trying to be practical, you know. Life goes on, all that kind of stuff. If it means anything, I'm well impressed we are upset you are, don't Michael! We? I just don't like funerals, that's all. Oh, I love them myself. Can't get enough of them. I didn't mean it like that. Beryls, uh, they just prolong the agony. That's why I suggested a cremation. Yeah, well, what about my mum's family that can't get here, then? Don't you think they need somewhere, some focal point where they can grieve? That's what a grave does. Cremation, half the people we're burying were burnt to death anyway. Archie had no choice. He was cremated. How very sensitive of you. Hang on a minute. Come on, sir. Morning. Aren't you ready yet? Well, I had a, a temporary itch which shower, you see. Yes, well, spare me the details. Mr. Turner, could you give me hand with these cufflinks? Well, they're on room service, but it's not up to much in this place. Yes, I can see that. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Turner, I've been on this earth long enough to know there's no I can do to change what's been happening round here, even if I'm as miserable as sin. Yeah, yeah, all right, sir. Come on, give them to me. OK, I'll see you later. I'm not sorry I ran into you. Saved me the trouble of throwing you out of the wool pack. What? Your behaviour's been beneath contempt. People in Beckendale don't take kindly to being used as newspaper fodder. I have the lease of the wine bar and your partner, Cathy, is too busy looking after her husband. I can manage. Perhaps. But you're not wanted at the wool pack. Or anywhere else in Beckendale, for that matter, I should imagine. Why? 
are they born if they're gonna die so young? No comment. I, uh, uh, that is, I'm afraid I don't quite know what to say at this time. Nothing can adequately describe what has happened recently. Let us begin with hymn number 27, Abide With Me. to say somewhat, but, well, it's like Vickers said, what words can, can, but something needs to be said. This, this is a day when we in Beckendale must commemorate so much. We may not have lost an immediate relative, but we can still grieve for them as have, and for those we bury today, the young and the not so young. Beckingdale is more than a village, it's a community. People know everyone and everything. <laughs> Mind you, some people think they know everything, and some people know too much. Some folk have lived here a long time, some too long perhaps, <laughs> while others of course are still new. But everybody rallied round and behaved like a real community should. Old enmities were forgotten and our hearts go out to bereaved and those that have suffered a great injury. Our thanks to those who behaved so bravely and calmly when this tragedy befell us. Nobody can bring back them as we've lost, but there are many good young folk still here, and they will, I know, do Beckingdale proud 
in years to come. This has always been a close and caring Yorkshire farming community. Today, devastated by tragedy, it has never been more united. The coffins were carried with quiet dignity from the church. Outside in the bitter cold, most of the community had gathered in shock and shared grief. It was etched on every face. For many, it was too much to bear. Thank you, Amos. It's very moving. It's just what the village needed to bring us together. We have to now rebuild for the future. Oh, you're right, Mr. Peart. Thanks again. Thanks. Thank you. Man born of woman has but a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. In the midst of life, we are in death. We have entrusted our brothers and sisters to God's merciful keeping. And we now commit their bodies to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace. Now and forevermore. Amen. Let's go back to the hotel. I can't. I thought I'd look good in black. You look good in a shower curtain. So let's go back. I've got to see a man about a dog. Do me a favour, Gavin. This is the man. This is the dog. What was all that about at graveside? There's something not quite right about me mum's death. He's hiding something. Seth! On behalf of the Daily News, and we know we can never replace Smokey, but Charlie, he'll love you to bits. Huh? You and your paper are barred from these premises. We're done. Thanks for the hospitality. Time was when likes of him had not been allowed through doors of these licensed premises. Those days have long gone, I'm afraid. Mm. Now then, Charlie. He's right friendly, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Do you think he wants a drink? I bet he could murder a light scotch. <laughs> never seen Kim about it. Uh, aye. Did she leave about five minutes ago? Left? Thanks. Nice service, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm going for custody. It's what Mum wanted. It's what I want. Yeah, well, you've got to grab what you can in this life. You never know what's going to happen next. Nick will fight you all the way, though. He'll say I abandoned Alice. I'll say he was having a relationship with a man. And I'll win. Kim? Kim? Yes. Yes. 
What's the matter? It's ridiculous. I can't it's stupid. <laughs> Kim, please. You've got to tell someone. I looked around the church and the graveyard and the wool packer. There's Eric Pollard, just buried his wife and still has the grace to congratulate you. There's Rachel throwing soil on Mark's coffin. She was really dignified. And the Sugdens. Burying their father-in-law, their mother on a life support. They were there for each other. Nick Bates can't even find his best friend to bury in. Your son may not walk again. Yet you support the grandparents of a, a young baby. And there's me. I'm just watching. Feeling as though, knowing I have no right to be there among such decent people in their grief. Just an uninvited guest. Your pain's as valid as. No, yours. it's not, Frank. Just about everyone in Beckendale has lost someone. What have I lost? Horses. Well, they could be replaced, they will be replaced. Well, it even cost a penny, thanks to the insurance. What right have I got to grieve? To cry? I've lost nothing. Look at me. My life's pathetic. I feel like it. Oh, God, I just feel... It's all right. It's all right. Old Amos didn't know how right he was, did he? What do you mean? About the community. We've all lost something. None of us will be the same again. Did you see those people outside the church? They hadn't lost anyone. But they could still feel the grief. And what have I lost? I didn't lose any horses, did I? So who's the bigger fraud, eh? I know something I did lose. What's that? You. I don't think that's what hurts the most.